Okay, class, we continue our exploration of digital learning tools and resources this week. Last week you learned about tools to help you stay organized. And uh, so you learned about some scheduling tools for those, as well as You Can Book Me and Doodle and um, other ones that you read in your book. So it was good to have that discussion. Now this week, um, as a caution too, there's another discussion much like last week's, where you need to kind of start it pretty soon in the week so that you can get it done in time. So this week, um, productivity tools, we're talking about social bookmarking and bookmarking tools that allow um, you to share and save different bookmarks that are on the web. And so you're going to be reading textbooks chapters 5 and 6 about mind mapping, graphic organizer tools, and social bookmarking. And then uh, mind mapping tools are tools that allow you to create symbolic representations of concepts, right? So you can take a mind mapping tool and create something that that shows what a concept is all about and how it works and how the ideas, ideas from the concept fit together. So that's uh, something to be aware of and it's also interesting to think that maybe your students can portray a concept or an idea in your class as part of an assignment in a mind map or a, or a concept mapping tool. And so it's good to learn about those. And so that, that's textbook chapters 5 and 6. Not too long of readings. You'll have a couple of presentations that will just teach you some of the tools that we're focusing on this week, Tismos and Symbaloo. And uh, so you'll have links, those linked to uh, videos that you can watch about those tools. And then social bookmarking discussion for this week. Discussion slash activity. It's bigger than just a discussion. Anyway, visual bookmarking tools like Symbaloo and Tismos have largely taken the place of the two mentioned in the book. So for the discussion this week, set up and share a link to a Symbaloo or Tismos page that you have created. So then you should have five links to different websites on the, the page. Uh, choose Tismos if you want to share or use links with younger students. So this is probably the early childhood or elementary type of um, activity. And then uh, Symbaloo for uh, others who you know, might use this for a higher, higher or age, higher age group. So anyone else. Um, so th then think about posting a link to your shared site as well as some information about it. What's its purpose? What is, was it easy or difficult? Um, creating a bookmarking site. Uh, I shouldn't say about. I should put to create. And um, how might someone use this site for a teaching and learning situation? And so that's what we were talking about. But really these tools allow you to quickly link to a website for your students. And you can actually take a Tismos or Symbaloo um, page and actually embed that in your web page or in another place. It makes it a lot easier for you to share links to students, especially younger students, because, again, for them to enter in a web address and type in something like HTTP or www, that takes a long time for a young student who's still learning how to type. And so you can save a lot of time and productivity by giving them the links and the list of links, and they know just where to go from that list of links. Of course, they do have to find their way to your Symbaloo or Tismos that you've created first. But once they have that, and you maybe you have an activity where they have to access two or three links, then uh, that will allow them to access those much quicker if they're at Symbaloo or Tismos site that you've created for them. So then you're going to post an initial response to this discussion by Thursday and then respond to two or more other students' posts by the end of the week. And just to show you an, uh, an example of a Symbaloo, this is one that I have created. It's basically a list of links here. I could put text on these, I think. And uh, these are links to example assignments from the past. So if I just click on one of these links, it takes me quickly to the Picto chart gallery. Or if I hit this link here, it would take me to a, an example voice thread presentation. So this could be very useful if I have just a bunch of things that I want to present to my class one day. Uh, let's uh, get rid of that. Or if I have some example activities or websites that I want students to go to, I can show these very quickly and easily to my class because I've already got them set up here in my Symbaloo page. So these are 750 creations. 
So that's what it is like. It's not very hard to create or set up, but it does take a little bit of time to figure it out at the beginning. So you'll want to take a look at Tismos and Symbolu and get those tools going in order to be prepared for this week's activities. And I think that's about it. So have a good week and explore those tools.